Hey, Charlotte, how's it going? Uh, welcome to Sports Med Monday. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, just wanted to kind of talk to you and catch up and see how you're doing, and then also ask for your advice on some nutritional stuff to see how our student athletes can still meet their needs while they're at home. Thanks, Andy. Uh, it's good to talk to you. I know we've texted a few times, but it's good mm -hmm. to see you uh, in person. For sure. Uh, via Zoom. Uh, I have a few things that I think would be uh, really helpful for our student okay. athletes. There's uh, maybe eight or nine little things that I'll put out here. Um, one being food safety mm -hmm. and thinking about how food is stored, how you prep it, how you heat it up, and how long you keep it. Um, those are all important things to know about. Uh, the second one would be maintaining a routine. I mean, we all need to do that because we need some semblance of normalcy at least. Right. Uh, and Absolutely. so routines are really important to get our meals in on time, to get our snacks in on time. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and for our athletes, it's really important because you need to assess your level of activity as well. Like, mm -hmm. are you really exercising less or are you doing more? Because I think some people are doing more because they're bored and there's nothing else to do at home besides schoolwork and their workouts. Mm -hmm. So really know where your activity level is before you make changes in, in your, um, your intake. Hydration, really important again, maybe not as important for some people because they're not in Charleston anymore. They may yep. be home where it's a little cooler, but they're still working out. So hydration is important. Um, mm -hmm. Stay on that. And on that topic, think about what you're choosing uh, as you're drinking, because better to load up on, you know, things that have less calories than to drink your calories throughout the day. So pay attention to that while you're at home, because it's a little bit easier to grab other things besides water, uh, sleep and rest. So really getting good rest is important and using meal patterns. And we talk about this when I have sessions or when I talk to teams all the time, mm -hmm. what your meal needs to be made up of. So keep that in mind, the protein, the fruits and veggies, the, the carbohydrates that, that you need to have that need to be a part of your meal plan and making adjustments based on your activity level. Absolutely. Um, and then the, the other thing would be using those foods to actually help your immune system. And you mm -hmm. certainly can do that by choosing different proteins that provide, uh, you know, um, antioxidants and other things that will help our immune system. For example, fruits and vegetables with vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin E. So getting your nuts in, getting in, you know, uh, different kinds of fruits and vegetables. And then also making sure that you, you're doing all this food, but take time to eat it because that's really important that you are mindful and eating your food mindfully versus mindlessly walking by and getting things that you've left out maybe on the counter. So thinking about that in food prep is important, like prepping ahead of time, like, for example, maybe you want to make a salad up that you can have as a side salad or you can have it as your main meal where you put your carbs, your protein on there, uh, using maybe beans as your carbohydrate, using eggs as your protein, or maybe you're using some kind of pouch tuna or some pouch salmon or canned chicken. You might be using any of those as something on your salad. Then also just prepping veggies so that you can have those as a snack in your fridge so that you can pull those out whenever you need them. Um, having things like spinach that you can add to, let's say, noodles and canned mushrooms along with some tuna that's got olive oil and sun-dried tomatoes in it, making a quick meal. You know, that's a real simple quick meal for, for you for someone to make. Maybe you have edamame that you can heat up in the microwave and have that as a side dish or other fruits and vegetables. So those are things that's really important to make things go rather quickly. And then just fixing more of one food so that you can freeze it and pull it out and have it at different times. And I know many athletes have heard me talk about that in our family, we might three people might be eating three different meals because I have it in the freezer and we all pull out something different and then pull our veggies together to go with it. So, you know, right. those are, those are some of the things I think is really important during this time. So hopefully that's helpful. 
to everyone. Yeah, those are those are great tips. And I think that's a good way for athletes to still kind of pick and choose and have that option of different foods and different ways to fuel themselves, but also still meeting their needs um, throughout the day and throughout these weeks as we progress on into the summer. So Charlotte, again, thank you for joining me today. It was good to catch up and see you again. And uh, we'll talk soon. All right. Thanks, Andy. All right. Thanks. Bye, Charlotte.